Hi, everyone. Welcome to Tonal Talk. I'm Kate, your community manager. I have been looking forward to this episode all day long, all week long, actually, because we are going to be meeting five amazing community members who I'm sure you will all recognize their names and their little profile icons, but it's so fun that we get to meet them almost in real life. Um, so we're going to be sharing lessons from the tonal coaches today. Uh, some of the top lessons that our members have learned from our amazing tonal coaches. I'm going to pin this to the top of the group so everyone can find it. Um, and you know it wouldn't be a tonal talk without some technical difficulties. So if you're watching, please let me know. <laughs> if you can't see me, then I'll know that there's no comments. Uh, let's see. I can't see myself yet, but I think we're coming. There I am. Great. Okay. Let me know if you can see me. If you're watching, leave me a comment. Let me know what the best part of your day was. Um, I'll wait until a few more people join. And then I have a joke. We're going to start today's tonal talk with a joke. So I still am waiting to see. Uh-oh. Am I like private or something? This happens every time. Please let me know if you can see me. <laughs> I'm not getting anything. <laughs> But I can see myself, so I think y'all can see me. Okay, people are starting. Say hello in the comments. There we go. All righty. So my joke for you tonight, of course, it's going to be fitness-based. Why did the hamburger work out on tonal? Okay, and if um, if you know, let me know in the comments. Why did the, why did the hamburger work out on tonal? Let's see if anyone's going to get this. There's the comments. I <laughs> feel like we can see you. Calm down. <laughs> Why did the hamburger work out on tonal? To get better buns. <laughs> Come on. Can I get some laughs, please? Just a couple. Thank you, Holly. I can see you down there. Holly's always so supportive. All right. So a few updates before we bring our guests up. Um, we have new content, as always, this week. Coach Jared has a new program. You all were just asking for a new Coach Jared program in his Ask a Coach recently, and we have one. So it's a three-day-a-week beginner program called Lean Muscle Mastery, and it, it incorporates four major lifts with plyometrics and core stability. So this seems like a great program if you are new-ish to tonal and kind of want to spice things up with a little bit of cardio, a little bit of core, but plenty of strength work. Um, so that's Coach Jared's Lean Muscle mastery check it out we also have leg day bar with the lovely coach francis sounds really easy 32 minutes lower body beginner but we all know coach francis and we all know our buns will be burning after so let me know if you've tried it cheerful flow with coach nikki a lovely little 24 minute yoga flow pick me up and then knockout stress with coach gabby uh 30 minutes full body kickboxing so check those out Okay, I got, yeah, someone did get the joke. That's great. Awesome. Yeah, perfect. I got a few laughs. Love it. Um, okay, we have Ask a Coach coming up tomorrow with Coach Natalie. If you're new to the group, this is an opportunity for you to connect directly with the tonal coaches. You can ask them training questions. You can ask them where they got their leggings. You can ask them what program to do next, how to do a move properly, um, anything tonal fitness related, feel free to drop it in the event invite, which is linked above, um, and they'll answer it. So every week at Thursday, Thursday at four, a different coach goes live, and you can always find those event invites to submit your questions in the events tab in the group. Moving along, we have, we're gonna be celebrating Juneteenth in the community on June 19th. Um, D Bami, D. Bamiduro is going to be hosting um, a Black Excellence series on June 19th. Um, you might know him from the Stanford showroom. He's the tonal manager there. He is an amazing, amazing human. He's going to be joined by some special guests. And we're going to be honoring and celebrating Juneteenth. So be on the lookout for that Facebook invite coming out very, very soon. And then, as you all know, we're celebrating Pride this month. Pablo and I will be hosting our virtual group workout on June 26th. It's going to be so much fun. If you joined last year, you know what's up. But if you're new to the group, um, Pablo and I get nice and dressed up. 
We host uh, some folks from nonprofits who are doing amazing work for LGBTQIA community. Um, we're gonna bring on some, there's gonna be some member engagement. That's all I can say there. There's gonna be drag trivia um, and a few other really fun things, fun surprises. We're actually gonna be making an announcement towards the end. We've got a full two hours jam packed schedule for you. So don't miss out. Um, and there's gonna be opportunities for you to donate to some really great nonprofits and have that money matched by Tonal. So that is uh, the 26th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And then the next day at 9 a.m. Pacific time, we have our virtual group workout, Lift With Pride. So come together as a community to Lift With Pride. Um, it's $5 will be donated for every participant to an amazing nonprofit called You Can Play that is working to equalize the playing field in athletics um, for LGBTQIA participants, including players, coach, referees, um, really cool organization doing great work. So be sure to join in for that. Book club, Lifespan, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have To is our June book pick of the month. It is a really, really good book talking about living till 125, 150 and beyond. Um, kind of the cutting edge technology that's happening to make that possible. And also the ethics behind, should we be doing that? <laughs> so grab your copy and you can join the discussion linked above. Let's see, we're almost there. Okay, member celebrations. Um, we've got a lot to celebrate this week. Our members did some incredible things. It was really, really hard to narrow down who I wanted to celebrate on Tonal Talk tonight. I had about seven folks and I narrowed it down to three, but you're all doing amazing things. But I specifically wanted to give a little recognition to Randall Zellner. Someone please comment and tag Randall. Um, he just hit his two year streak. Oh my goodness. Round of applause for Randall. I remember Randall as one of the OG community members when I joined. I actually wrote a quote he said above my whiteboard um, as a reminder to all of us at Tonal about why we're, we were here. He's always embodied the Tonal spirit, the Tonal mentality. He's done incredible things in the two years that he's been training on Tonal. And so I wanted to recognize him tonight. Huge congratulations to Randall. Um, we've also got, let's see here, Sean Rowley. Sean Rowley finished an Olympic triathlon yesterday, or this was Sunday. Um, despite heavy winds and blazing temperatures, he PR'd thanks to being stronger than ever with tonal training. Huge congratulations to Sean. Someone please tag Sean so he sees this. Know that we are cheering you on and let us know when your next triathlon is. I've done a couple Olympic triathlons. They are not easy. So huge props to you, Sean. And then we have... Last but certainly not least, Christy Olson Feist, who ran a first 10K in well over a year with her daughter, Annika, who many of us know and love. Um, and they got first place in their age group. So huge congratulations to Christy and Annika and your whole family. We are cheering for you and we are so, so, so proud of you. So, ooh, see why it was really hard to whittle them down this week? There's some good ones. All righty, now for the moment we've all been waiting for, let's get to the main event. So tonight's episode is dedicated to sharing the best lessons that our members have learned from our incredible Tonal coaches through programs on Tonals, the monthly community challenges, the Tonal talks, the Ask a Coach sessions right here in the OTC. So tonight we've got Smita Vakil Jane, Holly Schreiner, David Stember, Chantel James Carter, and Dale Miller. And they'll each be joining us tonight for about five to 10 minutes to share their tonal wins and the number one lessons, lessons that they've learned from the tonal coaches and how that has impacted their lives and their strength training journeys. So first will be Smita. Please help me welcome the lovely Smita. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. I'm excited to be here. And I have to tell you, I thought I heard you say tearful flow, not cheerful flow. And I had to think about it. I was like, someone really made a program called tearful flow. And then I was like, it's possible. <laughs> I think that would be like a Coach Francis, not a Coach Nikki. Like Coach Francis would put us through a tearful flow <laughs> in the best way. 
pretty sure I've cried with some of her flows. But um, thank you so much for being here. So just to give everyone a little bit of background, how long have you been training on Tonal? So I've been training on Tonal since November of 2019 when my husband bought Tonal for himself. And I was like, I don't know, maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't, but you should buy it and invest in yourself. And now of course I use it more. That's very supportive. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what program did you start with when, when you decided to start training on Tonal? Yeah, we both started with the house that Paul built, which was oh. um, super fun. It scared me a little bit. There were a lot of 15 reps of stuff, um, which was really hard to get through as a first program. But I, I don't know what's harder if you're a new person, like six reps really heavy or 15 reps that also feels really heavy. <laughs> so kudos to you guys for making it through. I love being called an athlete, though. That was a good good start. <laughs> That's what, like whenever anyone talks about coach Paul, it's like, he calls me an athlete. And I love that so much. Um, but what is the number one lesson that you have learned from the tonal coaches over these past two years? So I had a hard time picking one. So I'll share a couple, but I'll be brief. Do you, did you ever read the book? All I ever need to know I learned in kindergarten. I didn't, but I should we, I don't know if it needs to be a book club book, but <laughs> It's the general premise is like there's a whole bunch of things you learn in elementary school or kindergarten and they're sort of like rules for life and they apply later. And so I feel like a lot of the lessons that I've learned, I probably learned in kindergarten, but the coaches made come to life in a different way for me, especially um, in your body. And so like some examples are, you know, you have to fail, you have to fail to grow. So my kids mm -hmm. have walked by when like, you know, Nicolette has said that and I think it was raising the barbell and, um, we yeah, all fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have to fail to grow. Like, yeah, you do. But there's something different when you're used to like seeing the 10 reps and you're, you know, you're perfectionist. Like, no, actually you do need to fail or you're not going to grow. So that that's one. Um, being curious, another one that you learn in kindergarten. Um, but the two I wanted to share a bit more about are growth mindset. So mm -hmm. I don't know, some of, some of the OGs might remember a chain. I think it was about protein consumption and macros. And um, I was complaining that I, I couldn't figure out a way to, cause I'm mostly vegetarian, like find a way to hit my macros. And, and so I think it was Jackson was like, well, have you thought about protein powder? And I was like, I don't like protein powder. Like I just, I've tried, it's gross. I don't want to eat it. Um, and he actually, he's like, you know, send me a note. And so I sent him a note messenger and he schooled me, which I felt bad about for a minute, but then <laughs> was like, like, I'm, I'm going to privately school you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it was super helpful though. Cause he said, First of all, I said, like, when you say something like that, it becomes part of your identity, which it totally had. Like, I'd close the door on it. It was like, no, I don't like it. End of, end of story. And, and so he said, first of all, sometimes we do things we don't like because we like the outcome. And secondly, you're never going to change it if you don't change your language, which will which like opens the door to changing your behavior, um, which then leads down this path right of possibility. And so He's like, I don't like protein powder yet. And the same thing, I'm like, my kids, I was telling them the story and they're like, yeah, the power of yet. We learned that last year at school. It's like, <laughs> so anyway, I'll save you the long story of all the different protein powders I liked and didn't like and just choked down. Cause I was like, maybe he's right. Maybe I just need to try it. And, and I found one. Um, so he was right. Well, which one you have to share with us? I, actually, after trying all the expensive ones and recommendations, I love the one at Trader Joe's. It's like the Trader Joe's vanilla vegan protein powder works for right. me. Doesn't taste That's awful. It's <laughs> such a cool, uh, cool experience about how I love how your kids were like, yeah, mom, like we, yeah, we exactly. Semesters ago and we're in kindergarten. Exactly. So. Like get with it. Um, the other one is just uh, like a form and how I had a band director who used to say practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. And I think it's the same here where, um, you know, how, how important it is to get your form right or it leads to injury and or just not getting stronger. Um, so yeah. that, that one I think has been probably the most impactful for me. Amazing. And how have those lessons translated to some real world applications? Well, you told us about the protein powder. Yeah, but. the protein powder I told you about. I think, so for um, the form, like I definitely found myself, again, like I like numbers going up and I like 10 out of 10s and 15 out of 15s. And sometimes I'll sacrifice form to do that. and. Um, just tell myself that that's okay. And there's been times when I've either tweaked something or just not made progress, like sort of plateaued. And I think um, realizing that sometimes you have to go backwards to go forwards has been a real lesson. And it's like, okay, go back to where like the form is really good. And then the numbers will go up like with consistency, right? And I think about even like I'm doing um, 
better posture right now. And, and just the way Nicolette talks about even just deadlifts, like you need to have your, you know, your posture in the right place. Otherwise you're actually strengthening the wrong muscles. Mm -hmm. um, so I've just been thinking a lot about that and uh, being much more aware of it. Yeah. And sometimes that means like taking it down a notch, like you said, like maybe doing a beginner program or a beginner workout or even like tapping that weight dial down one or two pounds. Um, I think those are all really important lessons that we can all remember not to get too wrapped up in the data sometimes uh, and getting that little line above the edge, every, above that the, the 80 percent every time. I know that that's that's a big one for me, um, but that, that's so great. Um, what's your proudest accomplishment on Tonal? So um, I was very proud of my million million pounds lifted last year, and I'm almost at I think I'm at 1.8 right now. Um, so almost oh, that's an airplane. That's two airplanes, which is crazy. <laughs> I love I love how you guys switched that into like something tangible. I'm like oh, I lifted an airplane last year. <laughs> and did you get to the? Are you going to get to the two million faster than you got to the million? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yep, that's pretty cool. And then it'll be like someday you'll get like your six million in like two months. <laughs> you'll be so swell. <laughs> yes. And then I'll be one of the people celebrated at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> we can probably make that happen. Um, so Smita, what does it mean for you to be your strongest? You know, when I started my um, fitness journey many years ago, I told the trainer that I wanted to not like hurt myself when I reached underneath the couch for toys. So it's still that it's to be pain free. Um, and just to continue to grow and conquer things through consistency, through like the support and, and knowledge. I've just learned so much about myself, my body and strength training. So just continue to do that. I love it. I love it. And to lift the, those two million pounds, those two yeah, airplanes. More airplanes. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, but it was so great to finally video with you. I mean, we've talked so many times in the community and in DMs, so it's really amazing to talk to you on video. And we're going to make it happen in LA someday soon, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. I'll let you get back to your family. Um, tell the little ones we say thank you for letting us borrow you for a few minutes. Sounds good. Thanks, everyone. Bye, Smita. Bye. All righty. Well, that was fun. Okay, well, before we bring Holly on, oh, Smita's back. There we go, I'll remove. <laughs> before we bring Holly on, if you're watching, please tag a coach in the comments who you have learned something from or who has inspired you, and just give us a quick one-liner of what you have learned from the Tonal Coaches. And next up, we will bring the official Tonal Community sweetheart, Holly Schreiner, up to the stage. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> Hi, Holly. How are Hello. you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for being here. Wonderful. Okay. So let's set the record. Um, how long have you been training on Tonal for? Um, I was since October 2020. So October 2020. eight, nine months. So. Okay. I feel like it's been longer because I feel like I see your name all the time. <laughs> I feel like you've been with us for so much longer, but October 2020, we'll take it. Um, and what, what program did you start out with or work out? Um, it was Fit for Summer with Coach Paul. Okay. That's a tough okay. one. And what would you say is the number one lesson you've learned from the Tonal Coaches? I would have to say last set, best set. Um, Ooh, Coach Paul. Because original that's kind of yep exactly coach paul and that's kind of how i how i train where um when i get to that last set i'm always trying to do one or two reps extra you know to mm. get that whole beast mode going um our unofficial squad likes to call it tonal wolf <laughs> is, is our is our little hashtag is the tonal wolf um, you know, where you're just trying to, trying to get that extra little bit out, out of there if you can. So, um, I always, always try to go for that. I usually, especially if I'm doing a four week program, um, that second week in, I have my phone out with the app and mm. I'm looking at what I did the week before and I'm comparing, <laughs> um, <laughs> what, what's, what my weight is at that time, how many reps I did. And it's like, okay, can I top that? And so uh, my goal is to top, you know, what I did the week before so that, you know, each week, each time I'm doing a class each week, I'm seeing the progress, the, you know, the weight increase. So that's we don't have any type A overachievers in our community, do we? <laughs> Not a single one. <laughs> I love that. Uh, 
<laughs> um, and how has this translated into some real world applications or st strength gains for you? Um, you know, for, for real world, I mean, you know, Hey, when, when you go to pick up those 40 pound bags of rock salt, <laughs> you know, and, and I, can't um, say I do that in Southern California, but I'm from New Hampshire. So I get it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like before tonal, I would struggle just doing one bag, bringing it down the stairs. I mean, where I'd be like going slow and trying like not to drop it. And um, the other day I actually carried two at the same time you know, um, <laughs> down the stairs. So yes. And so, so that was, that was pretty, pretty exciting. I'm like, Hey, I am getting stronger. <laughs> that is so cool. You're like, take that strength score. Like, let's see it shoot up. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And what would you say is one of your favorite all time favorite workouts or programs on tonal? It's going to be raising the barbell too. that one. If you haven't done it yet, do it. Um, because Coach Nicolette, she gives you so many things in that program. I mean, so many nuggets, so many tips, um, you know, breathing, um, you know, form tips. What else does she do? She also, you know, hel helps you with the stretching. She mm -hmm. talks about tempo. I mean, I had never really heard too much about tempo until that one. Granted, I'm still still a newbie. What's, um, what's tempo for anyone watching who might not know yet? So, so tempo um, would be um, a lot like when you're, okay, so let's say you're, um, do, you know, pulling, pulling the weight up. Um, so you do your power up, but then you yep. go slowly down. So as yeah. you're bringing the weight back to, to base, um, you know, you're going slower there. And, and, you know, for her saying that's where the strength's going to come from, you know, so it's like, oh, wow, really, you know, I didn't know that. And then, mm -hmm. you know, you also learn how to, um, you know, train for failure, you know, where mm -hmm. you're actually doing the weights and spotter mode is supposed to kick in, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, yeah, learning how to is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so learning how to to do that. I mean, that was that was just an incredible experience, and definitely one I would, um, you know, do again um, because there there were so many lessons in just that one program. That is so true. Her coaching was on point in that program. And I think anyone who's doing a basic body split right now is like, don't tell me about tempo. Don't I'm doing 3030 right now. And I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. So, I, had, I had to do the first week of that one, even though I, I switched over to four weeks of fat loss too. Um, right now, I did have to at least do that first week of the basic body split um, because the rest of the crew was doing it. And, and um, <laughs> so man, well. that, that is a treat <laughs> with that pyramid. I know, my booty's still sore. Um, <laughs> what would you say is your proudest moment on Tonal so far? I think for me, it was when I, when I hit the 500% increase of my strength score um, because I've always felt that I've been kind of a weak person. Um, and so just to see, you know, that progression was was pretty exciting. I'm not, you know, I'm still not super strong, but, you know, I'm definitely stronger than when I when I started. And so so that was really exciting for me. 500 percent. That's insane. Um, anyone who knows you in the community knows you are not a weak person. So take that <laughs> out of your vocabulary. Um, okay. What does it mean? <laughs> what does it mean for you to be your strongest? So for me, it's actually surrounding myself with strong, inspiring people. Um, in, in, in that case, it's um, like my husband, just watching him and his journey and his strength journey and growing and, and whatnot and the things that he has taught me and explained to me about strength training. But then it's um, just kind of the crew that I um, have surrounded myself with when I was doing my first um, four week program. It was a beginner program. And I saw on Facebook that, you know, some people are like, hey, we're going to do, do a program together, you know, who wants to join us? And I was like, huh, you know, I like, I like groups. So, <laughs> so I'm like, can I, can I join you guys? And they're like, yeah, definitely. It turned out to be Radical Muscle Rock with Pablo, Ooh. which was an advanced program. Now Oops. I'm new to weight training. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a beginner, you know, doing a beginner class and I'm like, okay, I'm going to join you guys. <laughs> 
And I mean, those people, you know, were so, so kind, um, you know, because I'm coming in with, you know, with my numbers, which my numbers are obviously going to be much, much lower than their numbers. But, you know, they never made me feel like, you know, like I was was weak or anything. They always made me feel good about myself, but they always encouraged me. I mean, seeing just seeing their numbers was is like, hey, I can do that someday if I keep working at this. I'm going to get there. And so that's what I've been doing. So I kind of kind of owe my total journey to to that original crew, um, you know, which is Joyna, Michelle, Shelby, Mariana, Morgs, um, Christy, <laughs> Rebecca, Elias. Oh, Lance. my goodness. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> not and, and, and those guys I mean it's like you know they they were kind of like the originals and then it, it's grown into a much bigger much bigger crew with the the unofficial squad I think there's over 100 people in there but there's usually at least about 20 at a time but you know just everyone is so encouraging and so supportive and just being around that it just you grow you learn from each other and and we're all getting stronger together and it's pretty pretty incredible yeah, not only do we have the very best coaches, but we have the best community in the world. And, you know, shout out to Michelle, who is the, the queen of the unofficial squad for bringing all of us together. So, yes, yeah. um, kudos to the unofficial squad. And what does it mean for you to be your strongest? Um, you know, pretty much I, I just... Um, just to to be able to do things that I couldn't couldn't do before, you know, like the lifting the heavier weights. I'm also a grandmother of two grandkids, what? and so yes, <laughs> and you know, and and so to be able to you know play with them and chase them and do all those kind of things, you know, for them to see a strong grandma. I mean, I think that's that's um, that's really special. So um, just want to keep keep the health health going and keep doing all the great stuff. I hope they see you doing some Bulgarian split squats and some overhead presses and some deadlifts. Like, I wish I saw my grandmother doing that. That is so badass. Um, thank you so much, Holly, for cheering. You. You're, you are like the OTC cheerleader, and we appreciate you, and we love you. So thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Love you guys. Great to see you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Oh, that was so fun. Okay. Next up, we have... David, who you might know from some absolutely insane volume numbers. I mean, things that have never been done before in the official tonal community. So please help me welcome David Stember. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Going well, thank you. Now, what is your highest volume in a workout to date? You know, it was last week. It was uh, the last leg day on Natalie's five by five. I, I can't write down the exact number, but it was a little over 67,000 pounds. Woo! All righty. Wow. Okay. So That's... let's set the stage for that. How long have you been training on tonal? So my tonal got installed uh, New Year's Eve, actually. Or I'm sorry, I did my first workout on tonal New Year's Eve 2019. So okay. Tonal about a year, almost a year and a half exactly, actually. Amazing. Yeah, that's right on the money. Okay, cool. And where did you start? What program or workout did you start with? So I started with uh, Better Bike and Tread, and I was convinced Nicolette wanted to kill me because yes. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was not easy. So that was the, the, the first program I signed up for. That is ambitious. Um, anything with Nicolette is ambitious, but uh, I'm glad you made it through and I'm glad you carried on. Um, what is the number one lesson that you've learned from the tonal coaches so far? You know, I would say, I, I think my third program, I signed up for um, Go Big or Go Home. And I, I did not start lifting the volume I left at. I started with a strength score under 400, like 370, 380, something like that. And I, I just remember him quoting, like the Jacksonator came out, right? And he starts quoting Arnold Schwarzenegger about, <laughs> you could have results or excuses, but not both. Yep. Yep. Right? And for whatever reason that, that sunk in, particularly when I looked at that first workout and I'm like 90 freaking bench presses. And then like the offset is we do push ups. like, like who does that? Evil. So um, once I'm committed to something, I tend to kind of follow through. I've never really been an athlete, but like I was committed and I was going to see it through. And I just remember finishing that 
and being like, you could do these impossible things. Like they seemed impossible. You physically do them. And then somehow that then kind of reinforces mentally, like, like the, the mental reinforces the physical, the physical reinforces the mental. And I think there was something in the combo that that's become a mantra for me. You haven't lived until your wife is asking you to do something and quotes Jackson Bloor's quoting Schwarzenegger to like empty the dishwasher, and do whatever I'm supposed to be doing, right? But- Someone uh, please tag Jackson so he sees this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I thank him, that, that really has become a mantra. Like as I go through my day and I think, ah, eh, maybe I want, it's like, it comes to me and I just sort of do it. So, so that's been, between that and just the physicality of that program that like you're capable of a lot more than, than you might think. That is so cool. And where else, aside from your insane leg days and upper body days and even core days, um, has that lesson kind of transferred over to the real world or on, in your strength gains? Boy, I, uh, where is it transferred? Or like, yeah, how has it impacted your, your fitness and your health? So I would say I do a lot more strength training now than um, than I had. I had been doing a lot of cardio, so there's like no doubt there. My clothes fit better. Um, like I have muscles. <laughs> like, you sure do. I, I may not have hair, but I now have muscles, and I did not start <laughs> with muscles when I started. You can't off. always have both. <laughs> and then, truth be told, I mean, in, in fairness, I do some cardio too, but. When I got to my resting heart rate has always been like 86, 84, not great. My resting heart rate is is now like 58 or 60. And that's from switching from cardio, which is really counterintuitive. Yeah, kind, of, kind of doing the con. So I'd say the combo, but yeah. yes. I mean, it's it's made a pretty dramatic improvement. And then even hearing, like I haven't done any of the posture programs. Like I know Nicolette talks a lot about posture and other coaches talk a lot about posture, but that like as I wound up with like at least a back muscle, that's something that I've really sort of noticed that I stand up taller, my clothing fits a little better. Um, I'm willing to take my shirt off like at a pool, you know, that's always a benefit. So I, I would say that's probably how I'd round it off, but I, I just feel a lot better with, um, with sort of weight training at this point. It's kind of shifted from cardio, I do both. But. That's so cool. And you've inspired so many with your insane volume numbers and your posts. And it sounds like you're emptying the dishwasher more too. So it's a win-win for everyone. <laughs> it involves bending over, right? With a better posture, I can now. Right, right. right. <laughs> Not throwing out your back. Um, amazing. So would you say Go Big or Go Home is your favorite program? Or is there another contender? No, actually, you know what? So for a, for a workout, I love more chains with gains. So I just have to, okay. the original workout, I haven't done the, the program or change the gains too, but mm -hmm. there's something about coach Paul calling you an athlete. When I posted the, the latest number, he was kind enough to, to comment and say, I see you athlete, but like, I'm still living off good vibes on that. But I would say raising the barbell too, that there's something about coach Nicolette and that program. Like she's just like fierce intensity with a smile. And I'm convinced she's going to be like a future Marvel superhero or super villain. I can't tell which one. I can see that. But, <laughs> but that's, I, I mean, that program is just unbelievable. And I think the other thing that came to play there was, um, you know, truthfully, the group challenge, which I don't, was that your idea, Kate? Maybe. <laughs> that, that, that for me was like, for whatever reason, it hit like every button in my brain okay. and the Grooch challenge element. I start watching Michelle T at like 4.30 in the morning post. I mean, at seven when I'm drinking coffee out of my tall mug in bed, I see Michelle T like posting these and said like, who is this woman? And then like Pacific time comes around and join us posting numbers. And it's like, everybody's also wedged between these two women that are like amazing athletes. They're insane. And I don't think I had a day before that program where I lifted much more than 25,000 pounds. I don't even really? know all of a sudden, like over the course of that program, by the last week, um, you know, I had lifted over 60,000. Like, like there was something about that interplay. And so I give a shout out to both of those women and, women and eventually after that, because they're just amazing athletes. And then after that, the whole unofficial squad thing came after that and just kind of reinforced all that. So I think I'd say raising the barbell too for, for 
both of those reasons. That's what community is all about. Um, someone please tag Joanna and Michelle T so they can uh, hear David's praise. They they inspire all of us. They are insane athletes, like you said, and so are you. Uh, we're very lucky to have all of you in the Tonal community. Um, so what would you say is your proudest accomplishment on Tonal? Is it those those massive volumes? No, so, you know, so here's the weird thing. Um, I was never an athlete until raising the barbell too. I'm like a guy in the home gym, right? Working out in isolation. Like there's mm -hmm. no reference point for me other than right. my own reference point, right? And and like in the challenge, all of a sudden there's this sort of feedback. And at some point in that challenge, I posted something and you gotta understand, like I was not an athlete. I played football. I was the slowest guy on the slot. I was not a good athlete. They called me sidewinder because I could not even run straight. Like when we did wind sprints, <laughs> I would be like, I, I couldn't run a straight line. You forged in your and, own path. <laughs> and I've never spoken to him and I've never spoken to him about it, but there is like a legit athlete, right? Like a college athlete, pro athlete, a guy named Nail, Nail Benjamin. Yes, right? Nail Benjamin, Benjamin, yes. So he commented on one of my posts and said um, something to the extent that he had actually, he said exactly, I admire you more ways than you know. Aww. And so for that, you know, for that not coordinated, non-athletic kid, and uh, frankly adult uh, in most ways, that just sort of hit me hard um, in, in a very good way. And so I, I haven't mentioned it to him now, I'd say it publicly, um, thank you. And then I'd say kind of through this progression, I, I'd be lying if, if I wasn't saying, you know, that, that guy who got the tonal with like a strength score in the, in the 300s. Yes. I, is in, in, oh, increase, my strength has increased 409%. That's so it's, amazing. It, it's been something I've been very happy about, obviously. But. You should be incredibly proud of yourself. Um, can someone please tag Niall Benjamin, N-A apostrophe I-L, to make sure that he sees um, David's comment about him. That is so sweet. Uh, David, what does it mean for you to be your strongest? You know, I think, oddly enough, it's it's sort of that idea, and, and I wasn't an athlete, right? So I never got it, and I, like, um, that you could do these impossibly, seemingly impossibly physical things, and that then begets kind of mental ability and mental toughness, and then by developing kind of your mental strength, it obviously then allows you to believe you could do more physically, right? Yeah. Uh, and that then generalizes not just to the tonal, but to sort of life, like to not be so afraid that you can do like the, the act of strength training, right? Like it hurts. It's a lot. You grow because you're kind of like throwing yourself a little over your head or to something that you might think isn't possible or you haven't done before. And you're doing it and it's hard and it's repetitive and it hurts. Right. So the fact that that can translate to kind of mental strength, mental strength can then translate to your esteem kind of physically, athletically, but also just sort of in life. I think that's the big take home for me. Yeah, it's this like never ending reinforcement of positivity and the fact that you can do hard things on and off tonal. And that's what we're all about at tonal. So I'm so glad that you are getting that out of having the trainer and having the coaches and having the community. Thank you so much for sharing with the community, um, not just tonight, but always. We I always love reading your posts. Um, they're very inspiring. And I, I always love the selfie at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> you got to give us the selfie face. <laughs> get, you know, I get teased a lot for exactly that. But it's like, do you ever smile? Could you send? It's always this selfie face. I'm yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like, like one good angle and it's not smiling. And so <laughs> apparently there's a theme here that I can't ignore. I'll smile more. But give us some so teeth every once in a while. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks so much for having me. <laughs> of course. Thank you for joining us. All righty. These are so fun. Okay. Who is next? We have Chantel. Chantel, I have seen her grow so much in this community. She is our Disney 5K running queen. Um, I'm going to bring her up now. Welcome, Chantel. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm like having an out-of-body experience right now, but I'm okay. <laughs> oh, 
Why? Why? Tell me what's up. Because I'm like meeting you, like you're a celebrity in my world. So I'm just truly honored that you even thought of me to be here. So Oh, you are making my day. Of course uh, I thought of you. You have been you've been like Randall, like one of the people from the very start who I have just seen from when I started at Tonal, like I feel like we've grown together. Like I remember you talking about like the first 5K you did and then you posted all of your medals and talked about how your times have improved. And I've just always been a big Chantel cheerleader. Oh, so thank, thank you. you. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely stalking you guys before you went like nationwide because you guys were just selling in California at first. And so I was like, when are they going to like release it so I can get my hands on this? Because I knew I needed strength to get better, but I'm terrified of the gym because I have no idea what I'm doing. So this has been <laughs> such a blessing. Yeah. I love it. So <laughs> you've been training on tonal for a little over two years now? November right? of 2019 is when I got my tonal and I, I met them in my workout gear. Like I was ready. I was like, what are we doing? <laughs> Show me how to turn it on. <laughs> Let's go. Like, Don't even put it on the wall. I'm just going to bench press it. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, can you hold this? Thanks. <laughs> Um, and so what program or workout did you start with? I started out with the the generic one week one that you guys have that kind of shows you, um, I guess it's like a a la carte, here's all the things that Tonal can do. So I did that and uh, it wrecked my world and I was terrified of the advanced modes. But my first real program was the Strong Start with Coach Liz, which was really good because she has a really thoughtful, like methodical way that she does her programming. And so for someone who was brand new to strength training, I thought it really helped build my confidence to where I was able to continue going, you know, with you guys week after week. So it's been That's amazing so to kind of watch that little strength score line trend up. So I love it. I love it. That's such a good point. Coach Liz has such like a grounding personality and she yes. just makes you feel like you can do anything and you always feel so good after her workouts. Um, and it so comes I'm through like she's so patient. It's like, okay, like. Yeah, I probably screwed that up, but she's she's reminding you like posture cues and whatnot. So yeah, she's we'll not get there when we get there. <laughs> uh, so what would you say is the number one lesson you've learned from the tall coaches over these past couple of years? Um, Coach Natalie says in a lot of her programming, where you are right now is exactly where you're meant to be. And that really speaks to me because there's some days where I feel like I can like run through a brick wall, like, ah, you know, everything's clicking and everything's wonderful. And there's some days where I'm like, I'm just glad I'm upright today. You know what? It's going to be mobility or it's going to be a yoga class, maybe just meditation, but I'm just happy that I'm present. So um, she does a really good job of whatever level of energy you have, whatever, whatever's going on for that day is exactly where you're meant to be. And it's okay. Um, so I had a lot of anxiety in the beginning, trying to compare myself to other people, but I'm the best Chantel. And that's, that's really all I can ask for. So. It's so beautiful. Um, how has that lesson kind of translated into other areas of your life or into your health and fitness journey? So it's, it's allowed me to get deeper into instead of just tracking numbers and comparing my number to, you know, someone else's number. I, I get into more. How does this workout make me feel like what is it that I liked about this workout? What is it maybe that I need to work on? What What is it that I didn't love? Um, just making me more conscious of the holistic approach to it. So I've gotten really deep into journaling. You guys did a really good community um, calendar once that involved a lot of journaling. And I think that kind of triggered it for me is like numbers are numbers, but without the scenario around those numbers, it's just data points. Like it, it doesn't have the true meaning. So it's fun to go back through my journal and kind of go back and go, Oh man, you know what? I thought that was hard, but now I can do that today. And it's no sweat. Like just seeing that progression over time is amazing. That is so cool. Uh, we're going to be going back. We're going to bring be bringing journaling back to a challenge coming up soon. So stay awesome. tuned. Awesome. Perfect challenge for you. Um, but I love hearing that, you know, that that kind of that nugget stuck with you and actually had an impact on your life. That just made my whole day. Um, what would you say is your proudest accomplishment on Tonal so far? Consistently showing up for myself. I, I'm at 84 weeks. And as someone who was terrified of strength, I mean, that means I showed up for myself at least once every week in some capacity. And I'm, I can't be more proud of myself than that. Like you chose yourself, like you, you stood up for wow. yourself and you did what something that was important to you in that moment. So, four weeks. Yes. And, and 
And know that you have been around way longer than mobile on the go workouts. So that's Correct. many Correct. weeks on tonal, the physical yes. itself. So the week that we went to Disney, I had to time it so that I got my tonal in before we left. You leave for a week, you work out, you get on the plane, and then when you get back, you gotta work out again so your streak doesn't die. Like, this is serious. There's gamesmanship to this tonal streak. I think, like, I'm surprised no one started, like, a side hustle where people could, like, pay them to sign into the Here's account. my login. <laughs> people are changing flights around. Hilarious. <laughs> but then they would jack up my strength score, and I'd be like, I can't lift that, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, so talk to me a little bit about your running, because I know you've been doing a lot of 5Ks. Can you tell us a little bit about your running journey and how that's gone for you? So I am primarily a runner. I got into running probably 2000, 2010, I would say, is when I got really big into running. So my my username is Happy Runner Chick. Like that, that's just my identity now. That's my Instagram, everything. Um, but I, I just, I love the the quiet Zen moment that you get when you're running. Like that's, that's really the piece for me. Um, but now I'm in my forties and the body is doing what the body wants to do. And it's like, you get to that skinny fat portion and it's like, what's going on here? Like I can only run so far. Like, you know, marathon is my limit. I'm not doing ultras. So I'm like, well, if running further, isn't going to get me where I need to be. I probably need to dig deeper. So through research, I figured out strength training and obviously dieting is is where the money is. But I'm like, you go in the gym and there's, ah, you know, the guys who are like the serious lifters. And I'm like, I'm not going in there with my little five pound dumbbells. And two, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So I need a personal trainer. So when you start adding in buying single weights and hiring a personal trainer to virtually work you out, tonal is, I mean, amazing amazing for uh, I'm an accountant so I'm doing the math and I'm like mm, this is a much better cost per product you know best bang for your buck right here so and it's been amazing right now it's it's really my toy my husband gets on there maybe once every two weeks but it's, it's my baby so yeah <laughs> it's my personal <laughs> trainer <laughs> and how did um your times change once you did start adding in strength or, or your times or how did you feel running so my times are dropping consistently and then not only that i don't get injuries anymore so i'm getting stronger i'm focused more on mobility because before i was like oh that was a good run and i jump in the shower and i'm done with it right but yeah. listening to the coaches and and the calendars that you guys do, I try to hop into those as well. So there's classes that I would have never tried without the calendar. And those classes are amazing. I'm like, oh, I really love that mobility class. Why don't I do this more? And man, my hips feel amazing. Like, this is great. So I don't get the, the tight quads anymore. My, you know, Achilles doesn't bother me. Like there's so much that's tied to how your body mechanics operate that's related to strength that I would have missed out on without this. So, so cool to hear. Um, and what does it mean for you to be your strongest? Being my strongest is, is showing up for myself, showing up for my kids, showing up for my family, just being that example, um, just to say, be your best version of you as you are that day. That's that's how I am my strongest is just being the best version of me, not comparing myself to anyone else. Just like Natalie says, like, where, where you are in your journey is exactly where you're meant to be. Absolutely. Beautiful. Well, it was so lovely meeting you in, you know, over video. Yes. Um, thank you so much for agreeing to be with us tonight in, on this Tonal Talk. Thank you. Appreciate you. I'll see you on Facebook. Bye. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm doing this every week. Okay. And last but not least, everybody's favorite, the lovely, the wonderful Dale Miller. Come on up, Dale. Hi, Dale. Hey, how are you? Thanks so much. Great to be with you in the community. Thanks for asking me uh, to join you tonight. You have no idea. So Glenn was supposed to join us tonight, but he had a medical emergency. So he is recovering. So we're all sending lots of love to Glenn. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going to just see if Dale's available. And you, I was in such a bad mood this morning. I got like four hours of sleep last night. And when you said yes, I was so excited. Like you can ask Morgan. I was literally like jumping up and down in my office. Like, 
Dale said yes. I get to meet Dale. <laughs> like my love, Dale, you are always there with the kind comments, with the support, with the love. So thank you so much for being you. And thank you for being here on such a, la a, a short notice. My pleasure. Absolutely. So how long have you been training on Tonal? Um, you know, just over two years. I actually first started by walking into the Tonal showroom in San Francisco and being an early adopter. I fell in love immediately and uh, said, I absolutely want to order this as soon as possible. And at that time, they were only shipping just to California. And I said, I live in Arizona. Can I be the first or second person? And <laughs> sure enough, when they went to go install it, uh, the installer said, we installed one here in Phoenix and one in Flagstaff. You're one of the first two. And uh, I've loved it ever since. That's so cool. I love that. Um, and so what program or workout did you start with? You know, Coach Liz seemed like she was so sweet. It felt like, well, this can't be that difficult. <laughs> so I started with uh, more gain, less pain. And uh, yep. right now I'm in with the community for Coach Pablo's uh, basic body split. Okay. I mean, day one. I mean, are your legs still sore? My legs are still sore. Oh, they're terrible. They're absolutely <laughs> terrible. I can't walk straight, but loving it. Like, I need everyone to know that I tried to get Pablo to tone down that challenge. And he was like, no. And I was like, all right, well... I'm going to die, but here we go. <laughs> um, what would you say is the number one lesson you've learned from the tonal co coaches over the last couple of years? You know, I'd probably say prioritizing recovery. Um, mm. Never used to even think about that um, before Coach Francis with yoga and, and Pilates and bar and uh, the work that's done for mobility uh, just by multiple coaches. Um, I hike and I bike. Um, and play golf. And I did not realize how important mobility was, um, especially after injuries. And just being able to add that mobility, now I do that literally every day. And I was thinking about strength training kind of in, in isolation, but Tolo really is a full solution. And if you start thinking about all the things that you could do with meditation and mobility, strength training, it really does, there's nothing that, that really even comes close to matching it. So I'd say what I've learned is that there's a much more holistic approach than just strength training by itself. That's so cool. And how has adding in those, those things like meditation and mobility impacted your actual strength training? You know, I, I think a lot of it has to do with understanding how to breathe, understanding how to focus on form. Um, all those things really make a difference. It's really easy to go in and just start exercising and not be focused on being there because you can easily be, be distracted. But Coach Jared, the, the work that he does along with Coach Allison just around meditation, 10 to 12 minutes seems like a very, very small period of time. But if you do that often enough, the breathing and meditation exercises really do complement strength training. It's just incredible how it kind of tonal brings that all together. I think people sometimes um, don't recognize the benefits, but the work that was done in terms of the different modalities and the recent tonal talk really, really was really helpful. So, oh, good. That. That was the uh, mixing modalities with Max one, if anyone wants to go back and watch that. Have you done the um, the breath work one with Jared where it's like you like pump your arms? That one gets me hyphy. I like that one. Yeah, that I try not to do when people are in the room. They just don't get it if they're not part of the whole. So uh, I do that one kind of by myself. But yeah, it really is. Uh, it's interesting. It really I do is. that one around Morgan and she just rolls her eyes always. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you say is your favorite workout or program on Tonal? You know, I probably say the side by side with Liz. I think mm, instinctively, one. you know that there's differences when you're working out. But when you do something that really isolates one side versus the other, it really brings attention to how much stronger one side is. And it really helps you, you know, focus on that. You add in then all the different ways to be able to monitor what you're doing and kind of track your progress. And it's just phenomenal. So I'd say side by side. Um, but it really is, as I mentioned before, it's like picking your favorite child. I mean, every coach <laughs> has a different style. When I'm uh, like, for example, Coach Pablo, I can't laugh and work out at the same time. So I know when I'm doing Coach Pablo, I'll listen to his joke, I'll laugh, I'll step away, and then I'll go back to the serious. Um, <laughs> coach Liz is phenomenal. Love Coach Natalie. Um, it, every coach really has their unique style, which is what probably makes Tonal so unique. You could work out with a personal trainer but being able to have multiple personal trainers with different styles and different approaches uh, is just, it's been incredible. And I think as you start to do different workouts, you really get a chance to appreciate the different style and hopefully align with someone that really um, 
you can appreciate their style and the diversity of the coaches. So it's been great to see different coaches styles. That is so true. Did you do the side by side community challenge or did you do it on your own? I did that one on my own. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's like there's a different flavor for every different type of community member. And I think that's really special about tonal. Like you said, um, there's a little something for everyone. So thank you for pointing that out. And I just have to say for everyone that I did not prep any of these guests or tell them what to say in any way. I mean, y'all are sounding like infomercials or commercials and it's like, I seated you, but I did not. Um, they, they're all just saying this on their own. <laughs> Um, but Dale, what is your most proudest accomplishment on Tonal so far? You know, I have to say personally, it's reaching that 3 million pound mark, mostly because of what it represents. You know, when you, it takes a long time to get to a million pounds. It really does. And I think yeah. as you start to improve, it's the consistency in knowing that you're doing it day in and day out and then the strength training improvements. Um, that 3 million was a kind of a special mark, but also, I really think that collectively being able to share milestones, not only on Milestone Monday, but people get so excited in the community about celebrating the milestones of others. In fact, I think sometimes they get even more excited than their own. Uh, it's yeah. just great to know that you can be supported and support others. And social media doesn't always provide that type right. of forum. I think Tonal is really unique in terms of just the the goodwill that people have in terms of supporting each other. It's very difficult to find that. And uh, this tonal community as it's scaled continues to have that same level of, of support and, and just camaraderie. Well, it's members like you who make that possible. So thank you so much, truly from the bottom of my heart. Um, and so if you, you hit 3 million, what are you at now? 3.3, um, 3, I believe. Three. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm right, right. Uh, I'm right, right around, I think I'm at like 3.3 .3 or 3.2 or four or something. So hopefully we'll hit 4 million together. <laughs> um, and what, um, what does it mean for you to be your strongest? My final question. You know, I think for me personally, it, it's really the, the commitment to do something every day. Um, it's, it's really easy to, um, to step away and kind of lose that consistency. But yeah. because of the, the focus on the community and because of the different modalities, it I know there's always going to be something. Even if it's a recovery day or if I'm not part of it, if I'm not in a program, there's always something I can do. So to be my strongest is really my own commitment to make sure that every day I do something in that total environment. And that, that's really what it means. Plus, I really enjoy the partner workouts between you and Morgan. So I think <laughs> between those two, I, I'm pretty much set. We, should, we we can't really do those anymore. We It's like not good for our relationship. So. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for being here, Dale. Um, it was so great to meet you on video. I'm going to fly to Arizona and just put together a community event just so I can meet you in real life. Um, it's going to happen. So uh, thank you so much for being with us tonight and for always sharing your inspirational, your inspiring, your kind uh, comments in the community. We all appreciate it. Thank you as well. Thanks, Dale. I'll talk to you later. Oh my goodness. This was the most fun tonal talk I've ever had. Um, thank you so much tonight to all of the guests who joined us. Uh, Smita, Holly, David, Chantel, Dale. It was so fun to meet you all. Um, if you enjoyed watching, uh, tune into the virtual pride parade because it's going to be just like this, but on steroids. We're going to have members and coaches and nonprofits. It's going to be really, really fun. That's on the 26th. Thank you so much to our community for always just showing up and being your amazing selves and for tuning in tonight and supporting your fellow community members. That means so much to me and so much to everyone who joined tonight. So I will not be on next week. No tonal talk next week because we're, we're doing the Black Excellence Series on the 19th. And then the week after that is Pride. And then the week after that, we'll be back with the tonal talk. Um, and that event invite will be up soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Go enjoy your evenings. I'll talk to you later.